The St. Louis Theatre Circle may have to create a new category when it hands out its awards for 2017 next winter. That would be for the best performance by an actor carrying a script in his hand. <laughs> However, at this point, there would only be one nominee for that award. That would be Jeffrey Schechter for his performance as Pseudolus in A Funny Thing Happened on the Way to the Forum at the Muni. The actor who was to play the role succumbed to St. Louis' notorious heat, humidity, pollen, and allergies, and on the Saturday before the show was to open on Wednesday, he had no voice at all. Pseudolus talks a lot and sings. Mike Isaacson, the Muni's artistic director and executive producer, persuaded Jeffrey Schechter to return to St. Louis and take on the role. Schechter just left St. Louis, where he'd been playing the seagull Scuttle in the Muni's previous show, The Little Mermaid. Between Saturday and Wednesday, he learned the blocking of director Gary Griffin, the moves from choreographer Alex Sanchez, the songs with musical director Brad Hack, he didn't learn all the lines, but he did give an amazing, committed performance with script in hand. Schechter is now a certified hero of the Muni and of St. Louis Theater. He was lucky that the show he stepped into was a funny thing happened on the way to the Forum. I don't know a musical comedy that has more wild and crazy joy in it than this one. Stephen Sondheim, for the first time, wrote both the words and music, delightfully tuneful music with delicious rhymes and wordplay that outporters Cole Porter. Bert Shevelov and Larry Gelbert, old Broadway and TV hands, raided the ancients for their book, going back to the foundations of Western comedy in the Roman playwrights Plautus and Terence, with young lovers, wily slaves, a haunted house, courtesans, a boastful general, all mixed together with a sure hand, along with the heritage of America's comic vaudeville and burlesque. Isaacson let the audience know what had happened, and they cheered Schechter all the way, right up to a standing ovation that was not a mere formality. He also had the support of a splendid cast, beginning in the prologue with comic bits by the three proteans, so-called because they take on many shapes and roles during the show, all with fine physical comedy. Pseudolus is the slave of young Hero, who has fallen in love with Philia, the girl next door. Hero has promised Pseudolus his freedom if he can help win her. Unfortunately, next door is the House of Lycus, a dealer in female flesh, sort of a real live back page. Lycus' display of his wares features witty costumes from Mara Blumenfeld, but Philia has been sold to a Roman general, the magnificent Miles Gloriosus. Hero's parents are the usual unhappy middle-aged married couple of comedy. Their neighbor is off hunting for his children, stolen by pirates, who returns to find his house is haunted and he must circle Rome seven hills seven times to exercise the ghost. Local favorite Whit Reichert, playing the neighbor, was cheered mightily each time he started circling with a Jackie Gleason kick. They all, plus Pseudolus' fellow slave, the aptly named Hysterium, get caught up in Pseudolus' complicated tricks and disguises as he strives to win his freedom. Tim Maccabee's set used the standard three houses of Roman comedy, with lighting by Rob Denton, sound by John Shivers and David Patridge, and wigs by John Metzter. And I, once again, had a lovely time at a funny thing happened on the way to the forum. As did I, and I think it says a lot about Mike Isaacson and his understanding of the Muni audience that he didn't just look for someone who had played Pseudolus before. Yeah, yeah, and trust the audience to go with what went, and they went very well with it. Let's hear some of that music. I have but one talent. I'm lovely. All I am is love. 